Welcome to the I Have Too Much Stuff SOS Please Someone Save Me From Myself Chronicles. This is episode one where I will be talking about my major first world problem of overconsumption and kind of just dissecting why I have so many issues with shopping and spending and why I have this unending desire to put more things into my life. I am also going to include some of what my plan is in order to remedy this situation and hopefully be a little bit of a better person and stop causing so much damage to my wallet and the planet. The first thing that I need to do is just stop bringing things in. Stop buying things and stop taking freebies in case you might need it someday, but I have way too much in cases in my life and very rarely is there a case that I actually need that item. I am sticking to a budget like very religiously this year. I have cut my shopping budget like way down. In the past, I have let myself off the hook where like I would set a budget but I just wouldn't listen to it. Like I'd be like, I can only spend $50 this month and then spend 500 and be like, oh well, <laughs> like um, not okay, okay, not okay. We are cutting off the spending and the obtaining of items. Step number two in my plan is to give away 500 items over the next 30 days. I found this like little challenge. You number one through 30, and then every day you give away however many items that like block says. So on day 30, you would give away 30 items or whatever. Um, I'm gonna do it to where it's just like, I can fill in any of those boxes at any time because I feel like some days I'm like super in the mood to declutter and I'll get rid of like 50 items. And so I obviously don't wanna like constrain myself in any way. If I do the one through 30, I would be giving away like 465 items or something. But my goal is 500 items. So I will be doing the one through 30 and then also adding whatever is left to get to 500. All of these items can be sold, donated, they can just be given away to someone, thrown out if it's something that like can't be used. I'm gonna try my best to find quality new homes for these pieces rather than just tossing things out. And number three, I am doing some serious soul searching to figure out my why. I feel like I have to learn how to teach myself to say no, like as an adult, I have to tell myself no. I actually don't need that new thing as soon as I want it. And so I'm really gonna work on delayed gratification and just like trying to break down why I feel the need to always have like something new or always be updating or replacing things. Honestly, like I think things are just too easy for us nowadays. Amazon has my credit card and I get 5% back. And so I'm like, oh, whatever, just, you know, I want it. So just add to cart. And I think that um, we are really losing a lot of our humanity in how incredibly easy it is to consume. Um, especially I'm in the United States and unfortunately our culture is very, very deeply rooted in consumerism. I mean, we're a capitalist society and so everything revolves around buying things and I just feel like it's gotten out of control. Genuinely, I'm just like disgusted. I just, I have to stop. Like, it's just gross at this point. Boxes and boxes waiting for me at the door and I didn't even remember what I ordered. So it was like Christmas every day because I was like, oh, what did I get me? And like, that is so problematic. Like the fact that I have something that's waiting at my door for me that I literally don't even remember what it is because that's how much I ultimately probably don't care about that item. Gross. Anyway, so yeah, this is part one. Um, I am going to be just kind of, I guess, ranting along my journey um, with you all. I would love for you to follow along. I will be posting more on this channel um, 
I started posting videos and like shorts and stuff a while ago and then I kind of fell out of it for like a year and then I just bought a new camera. So I'm really excited and I'm going to use it. Oh, the irony though. Okay, wait, I have, feel like I have to defend this purchase. So this actually was not an impulse purchase. So I am proud of myself for that. And I want to be clear that this one was actually well thought out. That is a kind of hysterical irony. Yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching. I am really excited to make some more of these videos and kind of show you um, how I'm progressing and hopefully provide you with some tips on how to do this in your own life if you so choose. I am looking forward to also putting more videos on here, um, just in general regarding like, kind of this minimalism journey. I'm probably gonna talk a little bit about personal finance because I'm really into it and that's another reason I am really trying to do this like spending cleanse because I'm not as out of the control as I could be. I'm still pretty religious about putting things in savings and investing and all of that good stuff, but I still could be much better and so I'm calling myself out for that. So anyway, videos on minimalism, finance, really just, I just wanna put videos on this channel that make us better people. I want to support each other in just like leveling up, like physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, anything that is gonna make life easier or happier or better for us, that's what I wanna be doing on here. And that's really what I'm trying to do in my own life. And so if you're into that too, I would love for you to join me. Please leave a comment because I also, I would really love to make internet friends. Is that lame? Yeah, probably lame, but, but I do, I do. I feel like we have such a lacking of community anymore and I've been trying really hard. Like one of my major personal goals of this year is to focus on connection. I really want to form like a genuine community of people that care about the same things that I do and like want to optimize their lives and like want support and need support and I would love to support you and if you want to support me that would be awesome. I think that this would be really fun and I think it's way easier to do these like big life changes and really like hold yourself accountable when you do have other people that are kind of cheering you on or or like even just at least following along on that journey with you and letting you know that they're there and and maybe even calling you out when you need it. But yeah, so anyway, I ramble. I'm gonna have to work on that for these videos for sure. Peace and love, babies. This is fun. I like this.